Hello, hello everybody, it's with Prof Chop and we're back again with a new video. This is Jijuk Summer 2024 anime in a nutshell. I'm still mispronouncing it probably, but it is fine. I haven't watched anime. Actually, I watched some stuff, but we'll see. Maybe that's something new. I'm mostly a manga reader, so eh. Okay. Oh, brother. By the way, I'm gonna bring your attention to something that might mess up this situation for you. Look at the hands. Ew. Come on, brother. I know what they were thinking. Nobody in their right mind in this situation is gonna look at her hands. But brother, I have a weird mind and it does weird things. So when you give it to me, you give it to me hard. Okay, that's how I like it. I don't know what the hell I was going on about there. Oh, you're my... Oh, she's our sister. Well, don't make this any better for me. Let's go. Are you exhausted Damn, he's me faster. saying at the beginning of every one of these the wrong videos way. how many new high-profile shows are coming out? Well, welcome to Summer 2024 I mean, it's not anime, a bad thing. where we have romance anime, uh -huh. including Sussy Sisters. Okay. Romance anime with, with more Sussy Sisters. Sisters. And my editor doing the trademark oh. scroll of the seasonal chart. Okay, that's a lot of anime, brother. With, with, with still God Ooh, damn, that's a... Is that some sussy yeah, that was doing something. I see? Oh. So I'm not going to take up your time. You know the drill by now. It's a summer anime video. That's a so good uh, waiting. Let's just burn. jump right into it. Cheer for you. Na re na re. Hey, yo. She dead. She dead, any, bro. Any second now. Oh, she actually dead. Oh. She's dead, isn't she? That's when we started. Probably need to lower the volume. Music's scary on YouTube. You know how it is. Come on. Guys, I'm sure over here, I'm guessing you like watching anime. Uh huh. What? How did you know? So, shouldn't you be able to watch as many titles is this as, an ad? as painlessly as Are possible? Are you adding us? Well, with today's sponsor, God Express damn it, GQ! Exactly. Oh, God. Not... Bro, Gamers. what is up with animes having this whole school arc? I'm kind of tired of it. I'm going to be honest with you. Not every single anime needs a school arc. God damn it. Okay. Like, kids are weird. We don't... Like, you can have adult animes. You can have adults doing things. It's not necessary for a 13-year-old to be battling the god of time that's trying to destroy the world for the 13th time, okay? An adult can do that. Probably way better. Can we stop with these? Please? Japan? Fuck! Okay. Stop me if this sounds vague. Oh, is this familiar. a short, muscular boy donning a mash old thing? Can't use magic in a world dominated uh. by magic. Enters a magic academy, aiming mm -hmm. to be the top magic person in this magic world. Gets ridiculed, but is actually super strong, taking down everything with his brute strength. Sounds and like big every sword single on. one of these. That's I a big sword. The DMCA claim myself. That's a big ass if sword. The show didn't go so goddamn hard. What is this? This is Wistoria, an anime coming from the director of I've Black never Clover. heard of this. Could you tell? And Black the writer Don Machi. Could you tell? And oh. the character designer of Hey, both of those are awesome. So I'm, you tell? I'm down. It's a premise we've seen before. Following a Wand formula that's sword. oh so familiar, but presented in a shiny new package that looks absolutely phenomenal. Episode 1 hits you with this heart-pounding, jaw-dropping action scene, with the director Ooh. seemingly taking all the lessons learned from working on Black Clover. Why does that give me a Sword Art Online vibe? Like, doesn't it, doesn't it remind you of that, uh, the, the intro there as well? Where he was finding that big ass motherfucker? And refining it to the highest it's degree. It's screaming sword out deliver in the very next episode. On a visual standpoint, we're starting the season off with a bang. Because Ooh. I don't know if any other show is going to look as good as this. Th okay, guys. I got to get serious. Days with my stepsister. Now, okay. Know you Step is important. This show, and I'm very aware of what kind of taste you think mm. I have. But Yo, just listen. By the way, that anime that he showed, I don't remember the name of it. But it was so weird. It was, I don't know why I watched it as a kid, but it was so weird. To me, when I say with zero irony mm -hmm. that this show is legit. No, no, guys, hear me out. It isn't a meme. I'm being serious this time. It isn't what you think. I know, I know. Ah, come on, the banger. Like days with my stepsister, I too was expecting Listen, this to be... it's step, so it doesn't count, okay? It's fine. Feel dumpster fire being the spiritual oh. successor of Domestic Girlfriend, but this somehow is a 100% serious, thought-provoking, somber drama with no cliches, fan uh -huh. service, pandering, or anything you'd expect from really? a romance story between step siblings i know you're thinking step sibling romance you're without the spice that's about as useful as fapping to get pregnant but honestly this looks like okay you probably well thinking that but this technically you could probably do that you can fap in a bottle and then shove the bottle inside and be like 
They have th turkey basters, right? You can use that. As I said, I have a weird brain. I don't know why it does that. I, I, I'm not... Honestly, it looks I'm like sorry. they are trying to tell a grounded story I about two people later in their lives meeting in awkward circumstances and Wait. the realistic drama. She's wearing school clothes. How later in her life is she? Huh? ...that would surround it. It's beautifully shot, atmospheric, taking its time with songs that speak right to the heart. The shit is the Dune 2 of incest. This is unironically the Dune 2 a of incest. promising looking drama, and I swear to God, it's not because it has a sister in it. Mm -hmm. Alright, sure. what's next? More sister. Oh, hi, you my only dad. Okay, guys, listen to By me. By the way, if she did that to me in the morning, she'd already be pregnant, okay? In mornings, like, I'm ready. I'm charged up. I just I just need, like, one touch, and it's, uh, bro, I'm firing that six cylinders everywhere. Walls are getting sprayed. People dying in the streets. Say, you know what I mean? Zero irony. Alia sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. This anime's appeal is pretty simple to understand. What? You know, it's one of those cute little romance anime I'm comfortably watching on the living room sofa. Looks pretty wholesome and innocent. Then my dad walks in, sees oh. this shit plastered on screen, oh. and goes, Gone! Damn! Scooch over, son. Let your dad watch too. God, this time we have damn. A flirts with the guy, but the catch is she does the flirting in Russian. But wait, the twist is he secretly understands her because he also knows Russian for some, some inexplicable reason. Uh, uh I don't know. I didn't uh, count. Listen, all the things you're gonna learn in Counter Strike should not be said by normal people in, in the normal world. Okay. Did. So if you understand really Russian from that, I'm just waiting something's for wrong. the episode where he reveals that he understood her the entire time, and the episode title this is, is just such a weird title. Japanese guy surprises foreign girl with perfect Russian. Normally, I've gotten tired of these what kinds was of the shows Pikachu now, with but a heavy I think I'm machine gun. I'm gonna give this one a chance, and you might be wondering why. No, Joker Kobo are just so good at what they do, they might as well be giving insulin shots with everything they make now. <laughs> It's not it's because only good of the little when they're blood character. related. It has been a while though. You kinky bitch. Dominated by high profile Did I see Gentama? It has hey. been a while though since the season has Oh no. Hasn't been completely I thought I saw him, but it's something else. Sequels, but there are still a few. Tower of God Tower is back. Of My Hero Academia is still airing, along with more Shy Hero Academia starring Bocchi the Shh. Rocket. More near a tomato. Hopefully the high Hey, I watched Bocchi the Rock. That shit was the bomb, okay? That shit was amazing. For this season remains and it doesn't get played. Yeah. Wait, Nirat Mana gets an anime. Oh god, there is. Wait, fairy tale is still a thing? Really? Erza, uh, what's up? I watched a lot. You know, okay, I need to get back into fairy tale. Too harsh in fairy tale. Their fans yeah. have had it rough recently, and you know, every anime has its positive points. Mm -hmm. Monogatari is back to show all these modern anime how it's done. See, unlike all the other anime this season, Monogatari has historically depicted a more normal sibling relationship. It has? has really? What the hell is this? Come on, you gotta go. Just, just get. It's, it's a kid. Go, go, guys, guys. Just... I got him. Damn. Oh, Y'all suck at the whole killing. Miss input. Miss input. Calm down. You calm the fuck down! Cloverworks continue to prove that whether or not they mess oh, yeah, up no an adaptation, hand. at the very least, oh, everything God, that's they the touch looks absolutely godlike. I thought Wistoria would far and beyond be the best looking anime this summer, but the sheer creativity in some of these stories... The elusive the samurai. ...has your art style switch up and the pure... Brother, Japan, we don't... As I said earlier, stop putting kids in absolutely fucked up situations where people die, okay? Can we not? Can we stop doing that? Please. Your animation eye candy for like a second. Just put it a step above. Having said that, I'm a bit confused as like, to what kind of time we're going for here. Oh Some dude my just dice god. Up a pile of bloody cubes. How the, the whole village is massive. How the hell does that even happen? He got sliced and diced for real for real. It has some of the most grueling, gruesome imagery Bro, you can find This reminds me of animes in the 90s. They had this sort of art style, but it's modernized. It looks really nice. Season. Like, really nice. You with a this is like a shonen anime taking place during the Red Wedding, but credit to Cloverworks for being during able to get this wedding. much attention worldwide. This is meant to be set during a real historical time period in mm. Japan, and it's stuff like this and that can get to this audience interested in your history. I wonder what the Japanese audience thinks of this. I'm not Gable and I imagine a guy half naked, his ribs are faintly visible and can't stop ejaculating. I swear I'm not gay. It's not gay, bro. Just kiss your homie goodbye and be gone. Take these evil thoughts away. It's not gay. 
I Let us switch things up. It's Osamu okay. Dazai has one of the most tragic stories in Japanese history. Okay. As one of Japan's most famous novelists, Dazai experienced the darkness few humans have ever encountered, leading him to attempt to take his life not oh. once, twice, but four times, to which fate denied him and eh? forced him to continue living his torturous life. Eventually, he would put his broken soul into the novel, No Longer Human, one no of the longer most harrowing human. pieces of media to ever be created before he would eventually be able to successfully take his own life Damn. finally fulfilling his wish of being left alone and finally given the grace of death anyway here he is in a wacky isekai yep we got a silly comedy about a depressed author who wants to off himself in no another world in another chomping pills like it's a mukbang video and charming goddesses with his <clears throat> suicide rears Suicides. This isn't the first time anime has taken creative liberties with their historical figures, but it does make you wonder: Is there anything they won't put in an isekai? Suicide Squad. Yep. Isekai. Your screens. This is really happening. When I first saw this get announced, okay. I am very confused. I'm a big fan of Suicide Squad. Not the newest shit, but they had an anime with Batman once upon a time. It was dope as hell. I've read some comics. It's dope as hell. How does a suicide? Squad Isekai Go. Let's find out. Double check that the date was Kinda curious. First. This is an idea you'd expect for some wild fan fiction, but I think yes, the brothers realized exactly. all they needed to do was to give us anime Harley Quinn. Then they just weebs. Hey, bro. She doing some things to me, okay? Like, god damn, you can't see my hands. There is a reason for that. Dead in the eye and go. <laughs> I knew you would come. All in all, this seems like just a fun, don't take too seriously type like of show, giving us exactly what Ooh. we'd expect. Okay, the animation there was not stellar. That's all I'm gonna say. The Suicide Squad having a romp in an easy fantasy world, but I'm not sure if I was expecting a bit more coming from the writer of Re Zero and animated by Studio Wits, a studio that has historically studio put out Wits. banger after banger. Because I'm not sure if there's anything else taking their focus. Damn, my dear friend Nokotan. What the actual f Hello, my dear friends. Today I my dear to friends a presentation about everyone's See favorite what you did there. animal. Deers. Mm. Here are some fun deer facts. Okay. They can run up to 30 miles per hour. Damn. All male deers grow antlers. Cool. They have an oh, avid aversion. They also beat the shit out of other male deers when it's a uh, fucking season to see who's gonna fuck. And sometimes guess they get stuck together and Bad shit happens. Towards anyone. Oh, they're Connor. Antlers Deers also bleed. Are majestic creatures. If you didn't Let's know. have a look at some of these magnificent animals in action. Hey yo, he's sucking ass. Hey, my Deers brother. Can be found across the world, including countries hey, like England. My country's over here. You see this little little ass blob? That's where I am. Japan, America, Politer America, Politer North America. Pole, and of course. Narnia. There are over 40 Australia species of deer, such as the red deer, mm. the reindeer, the dead deer, oh. the Australian jump deer, or as That's the locals deer, call it, jumpos, it's a and of course, deer the rock Johnson. Here's a fun deer joke. What do no you antlers? call a deer so he with bitch? no eyes? Blind. That concludes today's presentation. I hope we all learned a little bit more about deers today because I have no idea what the fuck this show is about. <laughs> joke, I carry everything. Now, this is I, a fantasy oh. action about a man. Wait. I just. Wait, I just read this as a. I didn't know that. And who parries everything? He parries swords. He parries a star. Oh, parries no, a no, no, no. The one I was reading is I parry death. It's about a dude with a shield. This is completely different, but kind of similar. I'm curious. Kage? No Tiri? Brother, you just killed like 20 million people behind him. What do you mean? Explain. Holy shit, he buried his virginity! This is pretty much what the title says it is. An anime tailor made for you Sekiro fans out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An anime tailor made for you Street Fighter 3 Third Strike fans out there. And it's nice to see a protagonist who doesn't look like the I'm kind of curious about the text. Street Fighter Grant, I can't believe you referenced Evil in like 6 minute time and yet clearly I haven't watched the GOAT. Hi Yao's godlike performance from last month yet. I three third strike fans out there. I and it's don't nice know. to see a protagonist who doesn't look like the same beta soy boy. Yeah, yeah, he's not I blonde. I just want to see how far Crazy. they can take this concept. Can he parry a gun? Can he parry a nuke? Can he parry my invasive thoughts? Oh, ho, ho, you can parry everything, huh? Well, parry this. 
You're a talentless Ooh, hack. You'll never achieve anything in life, and you're old. Ooh. I had sexual relations with your mother. Damn. Got him. By the way, in the manga that I read, it starts off in the first chapter with the dude parrying dead. He actually died and parried dead, coming to take his soul, so. Yeah, I don't know. Elsewhere I don't know if they did that in this here. Plus size L. Plus all the good the Dumbbell Show has done for Weave, for the series giving us some American representation in the only way anime knows what how. What the hell? That's right. Blonde girls. If you're a fan of cake, I don't think you're ready, because respectfully, this anime doesn't have cake. It's the entire fucking baking industry. Yeah. We got Onis, we got Dark Elves, we got Marcel after season three of Dungeon Meshi. Oh. Failure frame is your pick if you want some dumb, edgy fun. Failure this one frame. was a niche concept, but I actually enjoyed it. You have a girl who is basically engineering her own magic tools in a fantasy backdrop, and I Aww. was honestly impressed. You truly Sounds do dope. feel like you're in a made-up fantasy world because they actually made engineering look fun. We're gonna play <laughs> some power fantasy that is no the newbie adventure. OP main character in a fantasy world, except this time the protagonist is in his 30s, and oh. I feel offended that this is the representation they think 30-year-olds want. You want to give us a power fantasy? Give us a Mildly exciting God damn brother, give me that shoulder workout. New Jesus. Appliance, the ability to stay up past 2 a.m. Hell, wake yeah. me up when there's a protagonist who doesn't get a life-altering injury because he slept funny one night. Damn. First. There Do it was really anime. be like that? I'm nearing that. I'm then afraid. Came fictional idols in anime avatars. Then came real life idols. Yeah, in anime buddy. Avatars. Now I present to you. All live on top. Fictional anime about fictional idols legend, playing real how I life went viral idols after in forgetting. anime avatars. For the first time, what? anime has actually given us Beautiful a feature legend. anime that accurately depicts Legendary the song. content to the point where even I was surprised. Real looking live 2D models using OBS as a streaming software, they play actual stream games like Getting Over It and of course going live on you. Owltube? Anime has been screaming for a true to life depiction of VTubers, but I gotta wonder how accurate have it they? is to have a drunk have VTuber they? who just shouts obscenity on street. Huh? I like to eat ass. <laughs> You know, for once, we have a season oh, not dominated God. by isekai or fantasy because romance seems to be going Bro, through a bloody second. You showed us like five isekai animes. What do you mean, brother? And like 12 romances. Renaissance is Explain. Senpai's and Otokonoko is a cute little romance where a girl Otoko confesses Noko? to a female crush only to find out that they're actually. Oh my God. You... Hey, I'm a beyond. I was just about to say that I'm uh, for some reason I'm a lesbian lover. Like, I don't love their lesbians in real life because, you know, that's not what they do about. But like fictional lesbians, hey, I'm all for that shit. Okay, so God damn it, you can ruin it. Actually, a boy. I never thought about it like that. That is genius. That woman this has. Is just a fans coming to terms it's with a their sexuality. 200 IQ My brain. wife has no emotions, Ooh. aka man gets dumped and immediately goes to fuck his toaster. I get that this is meant to be a cute and innocent In the bathroom? series about a Shower? guy falling for his robot housewife appliance, but oh. dude, seeing this guy awkwardly attempt to chat up his toaster gave me shades of the same energy as watching a grown up Kazuya from Rent a Girlfriend. Okay, in what way is this anime now weird? I'm very. By the way, why does a toaster sleep? You're a toaster, god damn it. It makes me horny. Bro is being a certified smegma male. Another sister romance anime? Wait, no. False alarm. It's By just twins? a romance with two girls who are sisters. <laughs> Look at that anime. No sweet home Alabama this time. This one actually has the most accurate sibling relationship because it's about two twin sisters taking it turns going. My God. Is my turn on the Damn, Xbox. brother. You know, instead of playing Call of Duty, they're playing Halo Reach for My Peach with their childhood friend. Mm. Two player co op. I would have picked Call of Duty. Enough. Are they dual teaming that dude? Because, God. Damn. Pseudo harem. harem. We have a girl who is the harem. She can be a Tindere, Kudere, Dandere, little sister. Oh, yeah. Yeah, add that one to the list. Introducing anime's very first Omni Dere. This is just Omni the girlfriend Dere. version of those knockoff game cartridges that promise 100 games in one. I was wondering where harem anime could go after one so how man did we get? 100 girlfriends. Oof. Who knew that the next step was just 100 girlfriends in, in one? one? Wait a minute. This is just weaponized schizophrenia. The proper etiquette when conversing with girls. Mm -hmm. A guide by 2.5D seduction. Let's see. Can I smell your pussy? Was that what you think? Bro, tell me this is not a hentai. Come on, brother. 
I've been waiting for a type. Wait, you're telling me a 2D obsessed, unsociable, hentai addicted weave starts an anime club by himself, and the only person who joins is a cute, attractive girl whose only interest is cosplaying his favorite hey, character. Right yo! Before a hot superstar model transfers over, who's actually his childhood friend that's had a crush on him for years, and all they want to do is get him to take pictures of them cosplaying as hot, cultured anime characters? And you motherfuckers tell me Isekai is the power fantasy genre. From the creator- Yeah, okay, I mean, at this point, like, if you watch that, there's something- there is Something is wrong, okay? That- of I'd watch the hentai version of that. That's all that I'm gonna certainly say. A treat for the How to become be ordinary. Animation, but this still looks bloody beautiful. The background, the atmosphere, yeah. the directing. This looks- Those eyes are gorgeous. adorable. Wait a minute. Ah, oh, they're not siblings! We're oh. finally safe, boys! This is a different kind of detective yeah, story. There time. are no high-stakes mysteries to solve, no murder to uncover. It's about solving the little mysteries you find in everyday life. They have a like full 10-minute Sherlock Holmes what mysteries in everyday life? this guy makes his hot chocolate. This is like if Makoto Shinkai adapted a Reddit thread from r slash mildly interesting, but somehow it keeps you engaged all the way through. It's about getting you invested in something inconsequential, finding something interesting in the mundane, and it really shows how these people really need to find a fucking hobby as soon as possible. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be in an isekai then, mate. This season has been a no-holds-bar free-for-all for romance, but even with all the choice on hand, there was still one that impressed me the most. Too many, too losing many heroines shows oh. a guy accidentally witnessing a short, blue-haired anime girl getting last place in her own romance anime, like... Uh, all of them. And through that, forms an unlikely friendship before unwittingly becoming the center to a bunch of other girls who have all been the rem to their rivals Amelia, if you're picking up what I'm putting down. If romance anime were Evo, Wait. this shit is the losers, bro. So he's taking the losers, but he's gonna only take one loser, so the, the other ones are gonna be double losers. Bro, this is fucked up. This is torture at this point. Like, psychological torture. This is one of those shows that is self-aware enough to poke fun at all the cliches that plague the romance genre, yeah, but doing it's it in bad, a way that brother. clearly celebrates everything that it's taken inspiration from. It gives you some great character writing, organic banter and jokes, but isn't shy about hitting you with these emotional scenes in between all that. Oh, and did I mention the production? This anime just seems to be teeming Ooh. with passion. Just look at the ending. They had to experiment <laughs> with new dollies and camera rigs, combining live-action shots with Ooh. real cell animation head, to get this His head looks a little fucky. All this effort for something 90% of you are probably going to skip anyway. But that's how you know they give a shit. And it looks like the team have taken that same passion and put it in the rest of the anime because that's it a looks rice. fantastic. Out of all the romance anime, this had the strongest premiere and is one of the shows really? I'm going to be keeping a close eye on because it's just... <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I don't watch romance animes. They're... Listen, I've, I, I used to watch them and... Pretty much, I'm pissed off at all of them ending in like three seasons after they finally kiss in the 13th season. And on the 14th season, they're still friends for some reason. And hey, there's only so many a man can take, okay? I can't do this anymore. Look, I don't know what is up no, with I just all watch the porn. sussy sisters this season, but I swear my mom's life, this is not the reason I'm praising them. Mm -hmm. We just have a whole season mm -hmm. where some of the most popular or beautifully crafted shows have sure, brother. little sister in sure. them. Sure, everybody has their kinks, okay? About their brother, uh -huh. okay? Look, there are other animes you could watch. I mean, what else is hot this season? Is that? Oshinoko? Nobody say a word. <laughs> Okay, well, that was fun. So there is some things to watch. I want to see the parry thing. I don't know if that's good. Some isekai, I guess. I watched the Suicide Squad Sekai. God damn. Tell me what y'all are watching. What did I miss? And let me know what y'all think about this video. Like, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff. And I'll see y'all next time. Okay, everybody. Bye-bye.